What is a differential equation and why do we want to solve them? Let us start with the second question. Why are they important for us? In many problems in physics and engineering, the rate of change of a certain quantity depends on the quantity itself. Here is one example, the motion of a mass through air or water. In this case, the frictional force will depend on the velocity. The acceleration of the object, given by the total force divided by m, is the rate of change of the velocity and also depends on the velocity. There are many more problems in engineering like this, where the rate of change of a quantity depends on the quantity itself. Those problems are modeled using so-called differential equations. In this video, we will use another example to, differ to illustrate what a differential equation is and we will introduce some common abbreviations and most importantly, what do we mean by the solution of a differential equation. So we use the following example of radioactive decay. Suppose you have some amount of radioactive material in kilograms and denoted by capital N as a function of time, where time is measured in seconds. Now we are going to have decay of this material and how much of the material will decay? Well, every uh, atom has a certain chance to decay. So that means that the amount which is decaying is proportional to the number of atoms you have right at that moment. So the delta N is proportional to the amount n you have exactly at that moment. So delta n is proportional to n. And if you wait longer, if you wait twice as long, uh, you, the amount which is the game becomes twice as large. Uh, so your delta n is approximately equal to n times delta t. And it's proportional, so there's a proportionality constant k in between. And we are decaying, we like to have positive constants, so k, n and delta t are all positive, which means that we require additional minus sign to get decay. Now we have this approximately equal, like why is that? So we can, of course, the, the divide by the delta t, we still have the approximately equal sign. Well, during the decay process, this capital N is changing. So only if delta t is very small, then this capital N is approximately constant and then if we take delta is small enough then we have equality because only if we have a very small time interval we can have more or less constant quantity capital N. So that's what we do. We take the uh, limit delta t to zero. If we take the limit delta t to zero delta N over delta t becomes dn dt and that equals minus k over n. Uh, so there we have what we call our differential equation. d and dt, so the rate of change of n, is in this case proportional to n itself. Now, in order to fully specify the problem, we need to specify how much we have initially. We need some initial condition. So we tell how much of the radioactive quantity there is at time zero. That's what we call our initial condition over here. And if you have both of them, if you combine this, that's what's called an initial value problem, IVP. That's a differential equation supplemented with an initial condition. Now, this was a very specific notation for the case you had a radioactive quantity. That's why we use capital N. And where our independent variable was time, that's why we use T. So usually the more general notation, the more general setup, then our dependent variable will be Y and our independent variable will be x, which means that we have a dy dx is some function of y itself. So the dy dx is a function of y and also possibly of x. Now that's our differential equation. And then an initial condition, and we specify at some instant t, uh, x equals zero or x equals x zero, we specify y zero. So that will be our initial condition. And the solution we are looking for is a function y of x. So 
So that's important. We are looking for a function y of x that satisfies this differential equation. So you have your function, compute the derivative, plug it in, then you should satisfy the differential equation, and you so should satisfy this initial condition. That is what we mean by the solution of a differential equation or an initial value problem.